think we ever get up out of there. Hey, where'd Jamal go? He probably got in the car already. You know how dude is. He can't stay in church or church folks. <laughs> but anyways, what's up with that party tonight? That's what I'm on. Man, I don't know. I mean, I might go. It depends on what my mom's is like. You know, she be trying to keep the clamps on. Is Jamal going? Yeah, we gonna both ride through there. But I might be a little late though, because you know I came across this little shorty last night. And you know how that is. I will play on own player. What I say show up? I don't know. You know how that nigga is. He ain't never on time for me. Ever. By the end of the day, I'm coming for you, nigga. Oh, what up, DJ? Chill man. I'm at the church, man. Y'all ain't here no more? Uh, okay, bet that. Oh, party? Well, that's what's up, man. When is it? Tonight? All right, man. Hopefully, I got time to get dressed or something. But yeah, I'm gonna catch I'm gonna head over there. We can roll from there, right? All right, man. Bet that. Are you going to the party with us or not? Nah, I think I'm going to pass on this one. You know, I got this new dude I've been talking to, so I think I'm going to see what he's about. What? You know how many dudes going to be there and you talking about staying home? Man, that's crazy. I mean, you're right, but he's different, you know? I mean, we connected so fast, I feel like I know him already. He makes me laugh, plus he's cute. Where you meet this guy at? Well, I haven't really met him in person yet. But, you know, we've been talking on the phone. He requested me as a friend on MySpace, and we've been talking ever since. Wow, you sound a real lifetime channel right now. It's cool. I mean, he's sweet, he's charming. I think I'm gonna see him tonight. I mean, everything is gonna be cool. I'll be all right. Man, I don't know about you, but hey, it's whatever. Have fun, I'm gonna let you let it up. All right. All right. Damn, I'm trying to see if something's gonna be popping off up in this party tonight, Damn. dog. Man, let's hold up and wait till some more cars come up, though. I thought you told me Shantae was coming. Where she at? Man, Shantae on that bull, man. She telling me about some nigga she met up with on MySpace. She's supposed to be kicking it with tonight. So, they supposed to be kicking it tonight, man. So, she ain't coming, probably. Oh, that's crazy. I bet she don't even know the dude. Man, they just met the other day, dog. So, I don't know, man. You know how Shantae is. She said she talked to Donnell's brother the other day, but uh, I don't know what happened with that, man. I tried to call the brother, man. Uh, called him like three times, man, but the phone was busy. I wish that joker could have came down here to the party, dog. Man, I heard, I heard they got him at some little private school with some little crackheads and little fake thugs. Yeah, man, ain't no way he can lock it up there, man. You know how they be treating him. They probably be getting at him, dog. A social dude in, from the hood that really didn't talk to people? Dude on the real, man. You know he crazy and he got a temper? That boy crazy, dog. They're always trying to whoop somebody. You know he be upping things on cats. Man, they better watch out for you in the popping one of them. Dude, that nigga spooked me a couple times, man. No doubt. That nigga is crazy. Man, but that's messed up, man, what happened to his parents, dog. I never thought his parents would get a divorce. Now he got to move with his pops. They always look like they was cool, though. Yeah, man, that was crazy, dog. That stuff made me think back to when we used to kick it back on the weekends, man. We used to come up to the parties. That was before Donnell started getting all churchy and stuff. Oh, holy roller, nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, it ain't even like that, though. Donnell still my nigga, dog. I know he done got all churchy, man. He changed changing his life around. But he's still my nigga, dog. I mean, he can't do the same stuff we do no more. That nigga's still cool, man. We can't hate on him because of that. He's changing his life around. Maybe it's not a bad idea. Man, I ain't trying to hear that right now, dog. I'm trying to get up in here in this party, dog. Not hear another sermon. <laughs> if I want to hear another sermon, I'll go right back to the church, dog. I'm trying to hear that, man. Okay, right on time, man. I heard somebody over here talking about church. What's going on, BJ? What's going on, Dante? Yeah, I'm good, man. What's going on with y'all? Oh, snap. Is this my nigga coming to the party with the homies, dog? 
Y'all dudes already know the answer to that, man. I was just driving home from service, man, and saw the service y'all dudes snuck out of, and I just stopped by and see what's going on with y'all. How y'all living, man? Chilling, man. I'm trying to find my old crib, dog. Cause mom's is straight tripping, dog, for real, man. Talking about she mad at me because I dropped out of school, so I need to be responsible and grow up and be a man. I don't know what she's talking about. She don't know a nigga been a man since he was 13, dog. For real, though, man. Anyway, man, what's good with your brother, man? I ain't talked to him. What's up with him? Man, I don't think that dude is doing good, man. You know, I pray for him. I think the environment and I think school has been real hard on him. You know, I tried calling him, but the line was busy. You know, but it's crazy because I just talked to this dude last night. Man, so Donnell, why you here, man? I know you finna come up in this party with us. Nah, man, that ain't even me no more, dude. Nah, I'm safe, man. I'm safe. I live for Jesus. Man, ain't nobody trying to hear that, man, being saved. Ain't nobody trying to give up all the little fun stuff we do to act like a senior citizen. Man, when y'all ever gonna realize that the, the life that y'all living, is it really worth it? Ask yourself that. Is this lifestyle really worth it? Man, look around you. Look what's going on. What's going to make you a better father? What's going to make you a better husband to your wife? What's going to make you a better you? Man, you know, I understand everything you're doing is fun. Yeah, life is fun. It's all fun and games. You know, life is a rush. That adrenaline is pumping. It's always going. You living it up. You clubbing. You doing the scene. You making your money. You getting the girls. But let me ask you a question. For real, for real. What's more valuable to you? Your soul or the lifestyle that you live in? The money or your soul? The cars or your soul? What's more valuable to you? And you're going to have to realize that one day. You know what, man? The Bible says that for the wages of sin is death. Your sin equals death. You know what I'm saying? The price of your sin is death. So let me ask you a question. If you were to die right now, would you be able to stand before God? A righteous God, a holy God, a perfect God. Would you? You changed for real, huh? And they finally got to you? Man, what makes you so much different from us, dog? You sound the same, you look the same, you talking the same. Only thing that's different, dog, is that you stayed in the church and we bounced, man. Just because I'm in the church? Real talk, dog. I heard everything they was talking about in the church. I sat there right next to you. And you expect me to believe a God that I can't see, I can't touch. How am I supposed to believe that, man? For real, though, that's what faith really is, man. It's believing and trusting in God even when you can't see him. You know what, man? God really is a keeper of his word, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to hit this party up, man. I'll holler at y'all later, man. For real, I ain't, I ain't trying to hear nothing y'all talking about, man. I like my life. It ain't gravy all the time, but yo, you play your cards how you want to play them, man. I know there is a God, dog, but right now I'm on the grind, man. I ain't got time for that, man. I'll holler at y'all later. That's foolish though. You know what, man? What practice a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Materials come and go, man, but your soul lasts forever. It lasts forever. You know what, man? No man knows when Christ is returning. So why even take a risk of, of, of delaying, of, of not accepting him? Why take that risk? So what you're trying to tell me is once you get saved, you ain't a sinner no more, right? Right, right. It doesn't mean you won't ever, you won't ever sin again, but what happens is, is God's grace will allow you to recognize your wrongs, which causes the Holy Spirit to convict you of your wrongs and lead you to repentance. If you just accept him, man, and, and turn from the things that are not pleasing to him, you'll be all right, man. You know what? Jesus really loves you, man. He, he died for you. He came to earth to make things right with us. If you ain't know the story, man, you know, Adam, Adam disobeyed God, man, and which caused us all to be born as sinners. So we're born as sinners, man, and as sinners, we need a savior. And that was the purpose of Jesus Christ coming, to save us from our sin. And you know what, that makes sense. So if I sin and I die, I go to hell. But if I live my life like him, I go to heaven. I'm glad you recognize that, man. You know, many dudes' pride is so strong to even reach their hearts. I can pray with you if you're really serious about accepting Christ. <laughs> right here? Right now? Why not? You never know. This may be your last and only chance. 